What is going on everyone? Platinum B is coming at you with yet another video. Today we are going to be talking about a website known as Numista. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about a website known as Numista. Now, what is Numista? Numista is a website where you can go and look for certain coins and search coins based on certain criteria, such as gold, silver, platinum, Australia, United States, all different kinds of things you can search on this website. And it's a great tool, and I wanted to make a video about it on my channel because I've had a lot of people ask me, what are all the different platinum coins that have been minted, what platinum coins are out there, all kinds of things of that nature. So as you can see here, I've got some very unique and very different platinum coins here in my stack. This is a 1990 platinum koala, 1 20th ounce proof coin that I picked up. This is my 125th ounce Austrian Philharmonic 2020. This is a very small coin and it also has a very low mintage historically. I don't think the mintage numbers are out for this coin yet, but they got to be small guys, like real, real small. And then we also have my 1 10th ounce Platinum Canadian Maple Leaf proof coin 1989 so these are three coins that you probably do not typically think of when thinking about stacking platinum and i want to just bring these out and show you and kind of talk about that so one thing i had trouble with finding was the mintage numbers on these coins these two specifically are 30 plus years old this one's fairly new so the mintage numbers aren't out yet, I presume. But these two are so old that it's almost like the world just kind of forgot about them because it's hard to even find information involving these coins. You can find some websites, but some of the information is very dated and it's just extremely hard to find. And the U.S. Mint or the Canadian Mint and the Perth Mint don't list hardly anything. It's almost like they minted the platinum coins and then they're like, no one cares about platinum. We're just not going to talk about it anymore or just put anything on our website. I have no idea. But Numista, I want to talk about today, is a good website for this because it does provide information on both of these coins and even this coin right here. And it provides a lot of information on a lot of different coins. So if you were wondering, hey, has the Mexican Mint ever made a Platinum Libertad? Well, you can type in Platinum Libertad on the website and it will show any results for any coins. Now, one caveat I want to give to this website is it's not a hundred thousand percent accurate okay there are some inaccuracies there is some missing data it's not a 100 full 100 percent foolproof method for looking up coins but it is a great starting place and it does have a great of useful uh, a great lot of useful information uh available for those of you who are wondering what is available in regards to platinum coins because there is a lot of vintage stuff out there guys and i say vintage i guess 30 plus years is that vintage i don't know some of you guys who were born 30 or more years ago maybe you can leave me in the comment section below that's soon to be me so hey i feel like i can make that comment so that's that but um i guess you would call it vintage or perhaps just dated or a little bit aged coins you can find them on this website. And we're gonna go over to the screen cam and I'm gonna show you kind of how the website works and what you can find. But first I wanna give a shout out to my good buddy, Bob. Bob does not have a channel, but he comments on my videos a whole lot. And he was the one who mentioned this website to me for me to go look at. So I definitely appreciate that, Bob. And I'm gonna go show you guys on the screen cam right now. Okay, everyone. So I've got the Numista website pulled up here and we're gonna take a look and just kind of skim through and see what we can find in regards to platinum. Again, this is a great website to find all the many different platinum coins that have been minted over time and what's available and what exists. 
So it's a pretty basic website, pretty dummy proof. It's got a search bar up here. You can search whatever you want. You can even search banknotes and, and things of that nature. But today we're gonna search coins. So let's just go ahead and give a test run and see what comes up when we hit platinum. So as we can see here, we've got some very interesting coins that I have never even heard of. Um, it looks like, I don't even know what this is. So we'll give it a little click. Looks like it's an Albanian platinum coin. 20, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Mintage of 50. So there were 50 platinum coins made in 1927. I would imagine this coin goes for a huge premium. So that's pretty cool. We also have these Albanian coins. Ah, and as we can see here, it shows the country right here, and I guess it's in alphabetical order. So we've got Albanian, we've got Andorra, um, we've got Anguilla, we've got Australia dollar. So here we get into the koalas, so it is alphabetical. One thing I want to mention about this is sometimes when you search stuff like platinum for some odd reason, other metals come up. As you can see here, we've got the gold wallaroo, gold proof. I don't know why this comes up when you search platinum, but that does happen at times. This website is not perfect, but it's definitely a good starting point and a good resource of information. So as we know, we've got my platinum koala, which is a 1990. So we'll click here if we want to look up more information about that coin. 1990 platinum proof koala, but this shows all the 1990 platinums. And let's go take a look down here. So it looks like 1990 proof is 1,182 mintage. That is extremely low, guys. Extremely, extremely low. Wow. That might even be one of my lowest minted coins I have. So that's a pretty cool coin that I have. Um... I don't know if it was a part of the five coin set. It may very well have been, but I just purchased it as a regular coin. So we're gonna just go ahead and assume that it's just the regular proof. But overall, that's a solid mintage number. Now down here, it'll show the bullion value. It says $51. Obviously I did not pay that. I paid much more than that. But that coin, that is a coin that typically goes for higher premiums anyways. So. This is a great website to find information on platinum, especially because the information is so scarce. We'll go to the second page, just take a peek at what we got. More koalas, as you can see, there were tons of platinum koalas made. Koalas, koalas, koalas. Okay, and now we get down here, the Emperor Penguin. These are kind of cool coins that I don't have yet, but maybe one day the Penguin, the Humpback Whale. I believe there's also a uh, third one of these, but these are one third ounce platinum. So those are kind of cool coins, but let's go ahead and search for something else we have in our stack. So platinum Eagle, let's see what comes up when we search platinum Eagle. So, <laughs> and of course the Canadian mint made these. And of course we have the only ever minted platinum Libertad one day, maybe for me one day that would be my ultimate coin they really just need to start minting, minting platinum because canada and the united states are banking in and mexico is just sitting and funny enough the spanish mint or not the spanish mint but the spanish in general were one of the first ones to cultivate and mine and discover platinum and its uses and stuff like that so i'm so surprised mexico doesn't mint more of the stuff but it is what it is of course we have the russian ballerinas which i would like to have one day a russian platinum ballerina over a palladium i do have the palladium but i'd like to have a platinum as well because i think that'd be pretty cool wow there's a lot of cool russian platinum coins here guys so let's see i assume this being alphabetic okay here we go now we're in the platinum eagle category and we can just go ahead and see all of the platinum coins. So let's see, let's click this one right here. So the $25 is gonna be the quarter ounce. And we go down here and it's got the years and the mintages and even the proof. And they even made burnished and uncirculated at one point. 
and it's got it's missing the minutes numbers again guys this website is not 100 percent perfect but it is very useful it's missing the burnished mintages i'm sure you could find the mintages on the burnish fairly easily but this is a good starting point for sure so we've got the platinum eagles down here at the bottom let's go to the fifth page just to see yeah so we've got more platinum eagle coins here is my coin i bet you let's see yeah it does mint li list the mintage of twenty thousand. um but that's the coin that you all have seen in all my videos or a lot of my videos and we get into more russia coins and then <laughs> the one trillion token that's funny um okay so we know they have platinum eagles platinum koalas things of that nature so yeah guys again this is just a very good resource that you can use to find certain platinum coins and again we have the platinum maple leaves which this is these coins are hard to find information on in regards to the fractionals and they even have the limited edition like colorized versions or gilded if you will which are pretty cool and it'd be pretty cool to have one of these one day maybe but yeah it goes all the way back to here and mine is a proof 1989 one tenth ounce so let's go ahead and take a peek at what that is and we are looking at 18,000 coins that is very oh wait no the proof i have the proof so 11,999 coins so that is very very low very low indeed and then we'll take a look at the austrian coin i have uh let's see okay so that one didn't come up with it let's see philharmonic platinum maybe it's under philharmonic Okay, here we go. So here is the 4 euro, 1 25th ounce, and of course they have the 100 euro, 1 ounce, but we are going to take a look at the 1 25th ounce. So as you can see here, they must have started minting them in 2017. I have the 2020 version and only the 2020 version. In 2017, it looks like they minted around 4,100 coins, which is very low for a sovereign mint. So these could potentially become very collectible in the future. Nobody knows for certain, but there is a possibility for that. So yeah, guys, I just kind of wanted to show this website called New Mista. I'm going to leave a link to in the description below of this video so that you guys can go check out this website. It's a great website. Even if you don't stack platinum, they also have gold and silver. They have banknotes, all kinds of cool stuff and information. Again, guys, this website is not perfect. So... If you don't find what you're looking for, fear not. Um, it may still be out there, the information you're looking for. It may just not have been added to this website yet. So with all that being said, guys, thank you for watching the video. Thank you to all my loyal followers. Thank you to all the new people. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, and make sure to leave me in the comments in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, we will see you.